Hi, my name is Megan Jamison, and for my reading long assignment this week, I chose 26 Fairmont Avenue by Tommy DePiola. This book was copyrighted in 1999 and is an autobiography about Tommy's life. Uh, it is 57 pages long, and I believe it fits a third grade class very well. It is a small, short chapter book. As you can see, it's pretty thin with 57 pages and nine chapters. Um, and on each page, there's some sort of either small illustration, as shown here, depicting what is going on in the novel, or there's a larger illustration, as shown here. This is Tommy's mother spraying Catholic holy water that she got from a church on their neighbor, who is scared of storms, and then Tommy's right there. Um, this book is a really family-friendly book. It's got easy, simple sentence structure, which helps introduce a third grade class to a chapter book without overwhelming them. I know some chapter books, like Charlotte's Web, can be super overwhelming as a third grader. That's what I was taught. Um, the moral of the story is the story takes place in 1938 to 1940. Tommy's family is trying to move from Columbus Avenue to 26 Fairmont Avenue in Connecticut. While they go through a bunch of trials and stipulations like a hurricane in 1938 and more storms long after that, um, they just keep waiting and they keep waiting for this house to be built and they take matters into their own hands and they build this house together and with this house has come so many things that Tommy was excited about. So, the theme of the book is that good things come to those who wait. The good things come to the kids who wait longer for them, essentially. And as a third grade class, you have to have an activity, of course, to go along with a cute book like this. And so, with this book, my idea for an activity would be to give each child construction paper, scissors, markers, whatever they need in terms of colored pencils and non-toxic um, art supplies, and they get to build their own 26 Fairmont Avenue. They get to color the house how they want it, give it the colors they want, give it a street name, the numbers, in their dream place. Um, I think that's a really fun activity, and of course they have to write out a few sentences describing their house. That way they can practice a little bit of writing, but they can still be creative and have fun in class. So yeah, that is my take on 26 Fairmont Avenue by Tommy DePiola, and illustrated by Tommy DePiola. He did the drawings as well. Thank you.